Hi. Okay, I'm going to be reading part three of Draven's story. <clears throat> Alrighty. Upon their graduation, Eric helped persuade them to leave with me. We would start a new life. I now knew what he meant when he said, Welcome to your new family. All those months ago, we'd become our own family, and I felt that no one could break us apart. Curiosity has pushed mankind forward throughout his existence. It has also pushed us toward an untimely demise, if only I'd known how powerful its push could be. After a while, Jamie began to ask questions again. I didn't blame her. I had questions of my own that had yet to be addressed. It had now been eight months since my suicide attempt, and I felt he at least owed me that. Draven, Jamie began, do you love me? With all my heart. Would we be together now, otherwise? She glared at me. The look in her eyes caused me to rethink my words. I had in fact tried to take my life. I had jumped. If I hadn't somehow survived, we wouldn't be together. Do you trust me? With my life? I bit my tongue. Then why didn't you tell me you were planning on taking it? They never loved you anyway. Remember that, kid. Even now, they don't love you as much as you love them. Eric intervened. Keep that in mind. To be honest, I didn't think you would care. I'm glad to know that you do. Well, tell me, how are you alive? We saw where you landed. It was covered in blood. Oh, I mumbled. You never told me that, Eric. I didn't think it was important. All that matters is that you're alive, right? Another thing, the Draven I knew would never make his family suffer like this. They're part of the reason I jumped. But you love them, otherwise what they said and did wouldn't have affected you. I said nothing. She was right. I didn't need to say a word. She knew. My eyes gave it all away. Don't let her get to you. Be honest with me. I'm begging you, Draven. Tell me the truth. It can be just our secret. Oopsie. I waited for Eric's guidance. Do what you gotta do, he said dryly. And so I told her. She thought I was crazy at first. My eyes so filled with sorrow, begging, begging her to believe. And finally, she did. Don't tell Hatch, please. She touched my face gently. I won't. So it became our secret, and so she swore it would stay. Alrighty, that was part three. Um, I hope you enjoy, and later on, probably Monday, I have to finish making the list. I'm going to upload a video called Concert Protocol or Concert Preparation. I don't know. It depends what else on the list. And um, I got the idea off of another YouTuber's channel. But she didn't do like a serious one. She just did a kind of joking one. So I feel like, oh, let me do a serious one. Because why not? Okay. In case you can't tell, I'm kind of tired and it is 12 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock, I think. Maybe 1 o'clock. I don't know. But yeah, so, ciao.